Hey everybody, this is Evelyn Fletcher, and I just decided to do this video because I received a um, Facebook message today, which was a word of encouragement to me, that I posted something last night yesterday about letting go, uh, several posting, and I didn't even pay attention to that the messages were connecting about letting go of things out of your life that are negative, letting think, go of things out of your life that were not God divine connections. And I didn't notice that until this morning that someone sent to me, thank you for the motivation and thank you for the letting go message. So I had to even go back in and look at my Facebook myself and see what the person was talking about. Um, that it was a, almost like a let and go series on my Facebook page yesterday. But I went back and ministered to the person this morning that God had been dealing with me about letting some things go out of my life. And I'm going to just be transparent about me. I can't speak about anybody else, but there are some things in my life that I need to let go. Not just some things, some people in my life that I need to let go. There's always a season of cleaning out. There's a spring cleaning. There's a, a fall cleaning. There's a winter cleaning. There's a summertime cleaning. Just like you get rid of clothes, just, re, just like you get rid of shoes, you have to also let go of other things out of your life that does not need to be there. So God had been dealing with me with letting go of some things. Yes, I try to hold on to people or things and I try to see the best in people even when I feel that they slap me in the face, even when I feel they do me wrong, I still try to hold on to them to say, God, there's a good side to them. But then I never see that that should be an end point to some things. So when I posted about letting go, one of the things uh, was a transcript from Pastor uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes about letting go. If people want to walk out your life, let them go. If people don't treasure your love and your friendship like you treasure your love and friendship, let them go. When people don't see the quality in you like you see in yourself, let them go. Even if those people that you have to let go is your family, you can still love them, pray for them, but keep it moving. You have to let things go. So I'm here to reiterate what the messages were yesterday. If you don't see my value, I have to let you go. If people don't see who I am and I'm uniquely designed by God, I have to let them go. Not just people, if a job is causing me a headache and, and I'm not getting this, uh, a chance to spend time with my family and, you know, it's always woe on me and there's always issue. I have to let them things go. There are some things that's easier than others to let go, but I promise you, once they're letting go and you let go and let God, let me tell you, it is a glorious time. You will get more rest. You would have a peace of mind. You don't have to worry about when the next drama is coming up. You don't have to think about if anybody peeping around the corner or looking at your Facebook page. Let me tell you, when I let people go, it's a take on a whole new different meaning about letting go and have, being at peace. I'm telling you, I am a living testimony. I do try to see the good in people, but everything is not meant to be held on to. So I'm here to reiterate what I put on my page yesterday. Reevaluate your life and then come into agreement with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit and ask God, what are the things in your life that need to be let go? Everything that we're holding on to is not to be held on to. If they could walk into your life, they surely can walk out of your life. So the message for today is trust God, trust God, trust God to lead you into the right direction. You can't hold on to things that needs to be let go and expect to be elevated in the kingdom of God. It can't be. So the message today is let go, let go and let God. Thank you and have a blessed day.